Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good morning, wherever you may find yourself in the world as you watch this video. This is Ace of Heart Tarot. Today is Tuesday, October 26, 2021. And today I'm just going to go for another general reading as usual. Angels, spirits, guides, ancestors, source, creator, universe. Please offer divine guidance and protection as I do this reading. Please offer divine guidance and protection to anyone watching this video. Please only allow me to... Please only allow me to... To see what you want me to see. Alrighty, that being said, what is the message that we need to receive for today? Angels, guides, ancestors, universe, what is the message that we need to receive for today? We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse to start. message that we need to receive for today. Seven of Cups. The Three of Wands. I'm only going to take one of the three that came out. And the Ace of Swords. <coughs> I'm going to start shuffling this a little bit. Hmm, actually, you know what? Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting um, like vanity um, in the upright. It's craftsmanship. It's working hard towards a goal. In the reverse, it's um, shortcuts to reach a goal. It's vanity. It's it's. Like sneakily achieving goals. The Seven of Cups indicates many decisions in front of you that you can choose from, but you have to be careful what you choose because one of them <clears throat> holds a snake. The Three of Wands in reverse indicates. The end of hard times. The end of troubles. The end of adversity. The end of disappointment. The Ace of Swords in reverse is like the truth coming out, but with disastrous results. Like the truth coming out, um, <clears throat> a 
somebody found out they're pregnant, but their significant other isn't the father. That would be two big truths, but it would be disastrous. <clears throat> Can I get clarification on the Seven of Cups, please? Actually, I think I should keep drawing, drawing because I don't know who this is for yet. Okay, so this is the death card in the reverse. Um, it indicates, it, well, it could indicate a Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Um, it also indicates the end of a cycle in the upright. In the reverse, it indicates um, like sleepiness, lethargy. Okay, next is the King of Wands. I didn't I don't know if I showed the the death card. There's the death card. Here's the King of Wands. This indicates a fire energy. Um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Next we have the Five of Cups. This is like an emotional loss. <clears throat> Five of Cups is also like um, being forced into a marriage or being forced into a relationship. Like the <coughs> emotions that come with it. It, it's like a card of loss also. <clears throat> Next up we have the Queen of Cups. This could be um, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, so there's a fire masculine here. And a water feminine. I feel like somebody's got too many choices. Somebody's juggling too many options. And it's lethargy, sleepiness. It's taking too long for a decision to be made. The tower. Yeah, something's coming to an end here. <clears throat> the tower is a learning lesson, is a chance, a learning opportunity rather. It's a chance to learn from a mistake that you've made that, that caused the tower moment. <clears throat> Further clarification on the tower, please. Can I get clarification on the tower? Here we have justice, 
and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we had the Justice and we had the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So the Justice is um, equality. Um, like something, I mean, the scales are here. Something that was out of balance is now go going to be balanced. Something, a, a situation that was unfair is now going to be fair. The seven of pentacles in reverse is anxiety about money. The moon. Here we have the moon. The moon indicates secrets. And we also have the sun. The moon and the sun together. Huh. <coughs> Whatever secrets are hidden are going to come to light. The sun is good fortune, but what I'm hearing is um, what's done in the darkness will always come to light. Can I get clarification on the three of wands? Clarification on the three of wands, please. Clarification on the three of wands. What's ending? the wheel of fortune so the end of somebody's karma that's too many cards the end of someone's karma Here we have temperance, balance, healing, Clarificate, further clarification on the three of wands please. Further clarification on the three of wands, please. Okay, I'll take all of these. Okay. Here we have the lovers in the upright. Next we have, <coughs> excuse me, the hermit in reverse. I'm going to move some of these this way. Next we have the five of pentacles. In reverse. Next we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <coughs> Next we have the Knight of Wands in, re <coughs> in reverse. And finally we have the High Priestess in reverse. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, my... Uh, It's really windy, and all there's a bunch of dirt in the air, and I'm just constantly coughing and having to clear my throat, so I'm sorry about that. So, Three of Wands indicated um, the end of disappointment, the end of um, bad things happening. The Wheel of Fortune was karma. <coughs> Temperance was um, balance, could also be frugality, 
the lovers is the lovers union love the hermit in reverse can indicate um a virgo it can also indicate um somebody who's like paranoid somebody who's overly afraid of things or people or situations <clears throat> the five of pentacles indicates um loss of money in the reverse it is um it is a uh, chaos The Knight of Pentacles indicates, um, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could also indicate, um, like a slow and steady messenger, a slow and steady, um, a slow and steady knight. He's not the fastest, but he's he gets the job done. He's somebody that you can count on. Next, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Hang on. Sorry about that. The Knight of Wands is a fast rider. I mean, he's he's got his steed with its paws, front hooves, paws, his front hooves in the air. He's he's on his way to break something up, to destroy something, to to deliver just horrible news. And next we have the high priestess in reverse. This can indicate Pisces. It can also indicate um, a very powerful, a very intuitive, a very empathic um, person, but for the dark side, I guess if you want to if you want to say it that way, somebody that's very manipulative, that's greedy, that's motivated by monetary or material gains just not a nice person somebody very vindictive <clears throat> so i feel like like there's a lot of slow movement here because we here we have the death card in reverse and that indicates lethargy Let the third being lethargic the knight of pentacles is a slow and steady knight somebody that's you know dependable reliable but slow and steady and i feel like there's the knight of wands there's somebody that's coming in <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, so we've got this King of Wands here who's being slow about a decision that he's got to make with the Seven of Cups. And it's involving a Queen of Cups that he's got to make a decision with, for or about. <clears throat> but there's a Tower moment that's coming up. And all the secrets are going to come out. There's anxiety about money, but their scales are going to be balanced. There's a secret that's going to be revealed that's going to come out. And I feel like this Knight of Wands in the reverse is is going to deliver this secret. He's going to deliver this, this disastrous message that this King of Wands is being slow like molasses to, to decide. <clears throat> so 
So the King of Knight of Wands is bringing in chaos. The Five of Pentacles also indicates more chaos. The Hermit indicates paranoia. The Seven of Pentacles here indicates anxiety about money. Temperance indicates balance or frugality. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is karma. Can I get clarification on the Ace of Swords, please? And the Ace of Swords. This is all tying in together. The Ace of Swords is is disastrous truth coming coming to light. In the upright, it's it's truth being revealed, but in the in the reverse, it's disastrous truth. Like finding out your child isn't your child. Regardless if it's a man or a woman. Like if your child was switched at the hospital. You have a child. But it's not your biological child. Because of a mistake that was made at the hospital. For some people that would be disastrous. Clarification on the Ace of Swords in Reverse, please. Clarification on the Ace of Swords in Reverse, please. <clears throat> okay, so here we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, this, this truth is going to have somebody mourning or grieving. Here we have the Ten of Wands in the upright. Ten of Wands is oppression, burden. Clarification on the Ace of Swords, please. Clarification on the Ace of Swords, please. Here we have a Queen of Swords that popped out. <clears throat> Clarification on the Ace of Swords, please. Queen of Swords could indicate an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Clarification on the Queen of Swords, please. Clarification on the Queen of um, yeah, the Queen of Swords. Ooh. Here we have the Emperor in reverse. And this is a big stack of cards that, that fell, but I just want to show what's at the top of it. The Hanged Man is after that. The Hierophant in, in reverse. The Empress in the upright. Strength. Page of Swords. The Magician in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse, Two of Wands in the upright. But I mean, the Devil card is coming out for the Queen of Swords. Uh, 
Okay, so the emperor can indicate <clears throat> I believe it's either Aries or a fire sign. The devil is a Capricorn, it's also Gemini. Or it can indicate somebody that's like what I'm getting. Oh, this is making my back hurt. My muscle spasms start. Um, somebody that's like working with the devil or like working for the devil. In order to or somebody that's doing like black magic Queen of Swords Aquarius Gemini Libra Could be working with a Capricorn or another Gemini. I, I, I need to please. I need to start playing some of these cards. <coughs> Queen of Swords, please. Oh. I, 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 wow, I just can't even make this stuff up. Okay, so, so the first one that came out was colorful hair. And that's for, I'm, I'm, you know, trying to figure out this Queen of Swords. I don't know what's compelling me to do this. But colorful hair came out. The next one that came out was black magic and I was just talking about black magic right under black magic attached to it was Europe next I have short hair next I have jealousy Next, I have black hair. And also, watch the red flags. Don't ignore them. Well, this certainly took a weird turn. Um... Queen of Swords, please. I feel like this Queen of Swords is, is very dangerous. I mean, she's she's working with black magic. Well, not dangerous, but like... Just not nice. I mean, anybody that... That does... That tries to harm people, man. Europe, short hair. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Too many cards. <clears throat> Next up, Tara Reader. A European tarot reader with short, colorful hair.
that practices black magic. Porn addiction. I want all of you. <clears throat> and I trust you. Uh, I don't know how much trust there can actually be if, if somebody's doing black magic on somebody else. Maybe the black magic is causing the porn addiction. Emotional abuse. <clears throat> cheated once alcohol and walk I only cheated once I trust you I mean you, you, it doesn't matter how many times you cheated if you cheated you cheated I don't know how much trust there can actually be with cheating and black magic and a porn addiction. Let me try this stuff now. Emotional abuse. I never wanted to let you go. And open your mind. <clears throat> I never wanted to let you go. You know, that could sound like something romantic, but with the jealousy card also out, I feel like that's like obsessive kind of um, I mean if it has you doing black magic on somebody here we have Sagittarius I got this on another reading. Too many trips out of state. Draining the money. Oh, some of these are backwards. I 
Okay, so since it wasn't that many, I've also got Aries. LGBTQ plus mother and Savannah. emotional abuse if you're getting emotionally abused you don't have to stand for that you don't have to stay there if you're getting physically abused also i mean you don't have to stay there i don't know what direction this went into um yeah, if somebody's doing black magic on somebody else because they're jealous, that's not cool, man. Doing black magic on people, doing, do, trying to hurt people is not cool at all. Don't do that. Alcohol, I feel like somebody also is drinking too much. If you feel like you need help for that addiction, you know, get help for that addiction. Ace of Swords clarification, please. Clarification of the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Clarification of the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Ace of Swords in the reverse, please. Ace of Swords in the Reverse. I think I might need to get another deck. Ace of Swords in the Reverse, please. We have... The Nine of Swords. I feel like confession. The truth is going to come out and it's going to be confessed, I think. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody greedy. Somebody that doesn't handle finance as well. Somebody that just, you know, lives outside of their means. They do not budget their money in any kind of way. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles could also indicate Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. That could also coincide with the too many trips out of state card that I pulled out earlier as well. I should have left it out. Uh, clarification on the clarification on the Ace of Swords in Reverse. Too many. Clarification on the Ace of Swords in Reverse, please. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Somebody is going to bring in a message. A bad message. Quickly. King of Coins in Reverse. Also indicates a greedy man. A man that doesn't manage his money well. Could be somebody that's got like a gambling addiction also. Here we have the ten of um, ten of wands in reverse. Tired of carrying that burden. The high priestess in the upright. Pisces energy. Could also indicate of somebody very empathic, very sympathetic, very motherly, very nurturing. <clears throat> Clarification on... I feel like this high priestess already knows what the secret is. 
or what what the truth is ultimate betrayal ten of swords ultimate betrayal so there's something big that's a big secret a big truth bomb ultimate betrayal Ten of Wands in the reverse. The High Priestess. Somebody all knowing. Somebody knows already what this is. Here we have the Hermit in reverse. Could indicate Virgo. Also paranoid. Somebody paranoid. Here we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like imprisonment, um, breaking out of imprisonment, um, learning the truth, seeing the light. Four of Pentacles. Somebody that's got money on the mind. Clarification on the Queen of Swords, please. Ace of Swords. Truth. Truth is coming out. Truth will be revealed. Ace of Swords in reverse. I mean, Ace of Swords, please. Clarification on Ace of uh, Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Truth. Somebody that was representing themselves as the full package. Somebody that was representing themselves as a high em as a empress. As the total package, as an empress. The truth is gonna come out with the ace of swords. And there's going to be a broken heart. Whatever this truth is, is, is going to be a big bombshell. I feel like it's going to ruin lives, whatever this secret is. I'm not wanting to try to dig further into, you know, everybody's got their karma to face. Everybody's got... The choices that they make, everybody's got, you know, whatever your belief system is, they've got the man upstairs to, to answer to, they've got the universe to pay back, they've got the balances of, I mean, they've got to balance the scales of justice, of karma. Mm, excuse me. Bless me. Bless you. Ooh, I lost my train of thought with that. Yep, everybody's got their karma to face in, in, uh, in the end. Regardless of, you know... I feel like sometimes people let their ego get in the way. They think they're, um, and I'm guilty of this too, being overly confident sometimes in, in certain situations because I feel like I'm divinely protected. And I know I am, but I know I still have to be cautious and, and take precautions and stuff. And wow, I just looked at the camera and saw how dark this actually looks. So I'm going to cut it here. 
make sure you get something to eat. Make sure you drink some water. I love you. And as always, namaste. Thanks for watching.